Beware of the bears. I wonder if this story reminds you of another story that you will be familiar with. Okay, let's see what happens. When the three bears saw that what Goldilocks had done to their little cottage, they were hopping mad. Their porridge eaten, chairs broken, beds bounced on. Go after her, find out where she lives, ordered Daddy Bear. Baby Bear jumped on his scooter and sped after Goldilocks. In no time at all, he was back. She lives on the far side of the forest, panted Baby Bear. And what's more, she's gone out again and left her door unlocked. Good, said Mummy Bear. What are we waiting for? Let's see how she likes having uninvited guests. Baby Bear led the way through the forest to Goldilocks's cottage. The door was unlocked, just as he'd said. On the breakfast table were several open packets. This isn't porridge, sniffed Mummy Bear. Baby Bear read the labels, wheat toast, munch flakes and puffle pops. Sounds all right to me, said Daddy Bear. Pour away, baby O. These wheatos are too sweet, said Daddy Bear. These munch flakes are too noisy, said Mummy Bear. But these puffle pops are just right, said Baby Bear, catapulting, catapulting a spoonful towards Daddy Bear. A puffle pop hit Daddy Bear in the eye. He sent back a spoonful of wheatos. They splattered all over Mummy Bear's best blouse. Soon, cereal was flying left and right until the carpet, the walls, the ceiling were dripping with brown goo. Baby Bear turned on the radio. Let's dance, he squealed. And Mummy and Daddy Bear tangled on the table. This table's too slippy, said Daddy Bear. They did the cha-cha-cha round the curtains. Cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha, cha-cha, cha-cha-cha. These curtains are too rippy, said Mummy Bear. But this sofa's just right, squealed Baby Bear. So they all jumped on the sofa and did the bows and over until they went right through it. Oh no! Next, the three bears looked up to upstairs. There were lots of things to try in the bathroom. The shaving soap's too soapy, grumbled Daddy Bear. This toothpaste too minty, gargled Mummy Bear. But this bubble bath is just right, murmured Baby Bear from beneath a mountain of suds. All right, here we come, said Mummy Bear. Splash! They had a splashing time in the bath and once they were clean in the bathroom, the bathroom a mess, off they went to the bedroom. These pyjamas are too tight, said Daddy Bear, bursting the buttons. This mattress is too lumpy, said Mummy Bear, bouncing up and down. But these pillows are just right, said Baby Bear. Just right for a pillow fight. Baby Bear biffed Mummy Bear. Mummy Bear whacked Daddy Bear. And pillows burst filling the air with clouds of feathers. Till suddenly Daddy Bear stopped. Listen, he said. I hear someone. <gasps> Quietly the three bears crept downstairs. Goldilocks was in the kitchen. Gleefully, Daddy Bear, Mummy Bear and Baby Bear watched from behind the door. 
Goldilocks gasped when she saw the cereal splattered all over the walls. Her eyes grew large when she saw the ripped curtains and the gigantic hole in the sofa. She whistled when she saw the bathroom flooded with water and decorated with shaving foam. Next, Goldilocks went into the bedroom. She stared open-mouthed at the sea of feathers and the burst bed springs. Then suddenly, the three bears jumped out from behind the door. Surprise! they all shouted. We thought we'd pay you a visit, asked Mummy Bear. Goldilocks looked at them, then at the room and to the bears. Astonished, she threw back her head and laughed <laughs> until her hair shook like golden springs. But aren't you mad at what we've done to your house? asked Daddy Bear. My house? This isn't my house, <laughs> giggled Goldilocks. But it must be, said Baby Bear. I saw you go in. Oh, that, said Goldilocks. Oh, the door was open, so I thought I'd have a nose around. I'm always sneaking into other people's houses. I only came back because I left Teddy behind. Then, if it's not your house, whose house is it? asked Daddy Bear. Oh, help, squeaked Baby Bear, looking out of the window. Beware of the big bad wolf. Oh dear. I don't think he looks very impressed.